This is lesson 22. And uh, I think we're going to do some cleanup here. There's uh, some CSS stuff that I want to fix up and a uh, couple uh, this right here. I want to fix the header. It's a CSS, not CMS. Um, but yeah, we're going to do a little, just a little bit of tidying up um, with the code here and some of the elements. Let's first open up the index.php and then let's open up the template function or template file. Let's change that header to CMS. That's been driving me nuts for a long time and I keep forgetting about it. Let's go ahead and save and upload that. And let's come back over to index. Um, for the time being, I want to I want to trim some of this up. Now, some people would keep this 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 area here the way I did it. Um, I wanted it this way when we were explaining it so that it was it was a little more legible and you can see what's going on. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. This is something I do. Some other people do it. Not everybody does it. But um, I'm going to bring these lines together here and just keep things a little cleaner. So we still get the point if I'm going to bring this up here. So if this, then else. And there you go. There's some other ways to do it also. You can actually do a whole inline thing here without the brackets and all that. Uh, I'm not going to do that. It's not my preferred way to do it. And we're going to change this later on down the road anyways when we start adding other elements. Now, one thing that's been bothering me, and, and, and it became a very noticeable when we looked at the blog posts here. I want to bring in the content area just a little bit. So let's go into the CSS. So open up styles and keep this open. Um, I want to open up I want to open up sandbox.php And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap a div around um, the content area, for lack of better words. Anything that comes in or is being spit out on the page, we want to wrap it in a div, and then we're going to give it a little bit of padding so that it kind of sits in a little bit. And we're going to keep this uh, this format from here on out. So right here on line 12 or well hit enter and go to 13 go ahead and echo make a div and then we can take that and drag it down here close that div off and go ahead and bump this out let's give this a class name of entry and this is the class we're gonna give the rule that uh, does the the padding now we can actually take this and copy it and paste it down here too get that closing tag too tab things out now What's really important here is that we're doing this within the while loop on this on this function because we want this entry div to repeat because this will also give us the ability to give some spacing in between each blog entry. So if we go back to styles, I'm going to scroll down a little bit down near the content rule here and let's make a rule for entry. Now all we got to do is let's just give it some padding and we'll say let's do 20 pixels all around and I'm doing this instead of just saying 20 pixels once I'm doing all four 
just in case I want to change this up a little bit. So let's go ahead and save that and upload it. Make sure we save and upload our sandbox. And just go ahead and save and upload index. And then we'll flip over to our page here, refresh. And there you go. Everything's kind of inside a little bit. Um, we want to, we're going to want to put some margin on the uh, footer. Let's look at the blog here. That looks a little better. We can probably drop this spacing here a little bit. So we go back to the CSS. And for the bottom, which if you remember, top, right, bottom, left. Change this to 10, save it, take a look. There we go, it's a little tighter. All right, now let's add some margin to that uh, footer. So we'll add 10 pixels to the top of the footer. Sorry about all the extra lines here. We'll save that. And go look at one of our other pages here. Okay, we could probably add a little more. Let's go ahead and make that 30. There we go. That's a little better. So we've cleaned that up a little bit. <clears throat> Blog's looking better. We can do some CSS to the uh, the blog too. So let's go to our sandbox here. Now there's something I like to do. Um, it's, it's similar to that clear um, uh, rule that I make. Uh, well, not similar, but it's it's something that I use a lot, and I call it no buffer. And we give it a margin of zero pixels and a padding of zero pixels. And we can use this universally across the board here. So now in this title, uh, for the blog entries anyways, I want that to rest on the date. And let's see how that looks. We're going to still have a buffer from the uh, the paragraph tag. So this may not pull off as much as we want, but it's going to kill some of the buffer just a little bit. So let's, let's add that no buffer class to the uh, paragraph too. And we may mess with this a little later to make it a little, a little more attractive. But for now, I just want to put some separation. See, now we have, we've killed the buffer here. Um, so let's do this content body. Let's find that class in CSS. And we don't actually have one for that. So let's go ahead and make a class. We'll clean this up a little bit. Let's go ahead and make a class for content body. Or sorry, a rule. And let's give that a little bit of a margin. Just give it uh, 10 pixels on the top, zero pixels left and right. Save that. Take a look at what we've done. There you go. So now the date and the title are kind of bumped up against each other, and the post is kind of here on its own, creating some a little bit of contrast there. So that helps out. In the uh, next video, we'll work on formatting this date and we'll work on potentially adding entries into the blog without having to use phpMyAdmin.